We are a generation who loves God. We are a generation who trusts in God. We will always hope in God. Greetings, greetings, greetings in the wonderful, precious name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. He is alive even today. And if you press in, if you believe, you shall have a great encounter with Him. My dear friend, as you know, today is Monday, and on Monday we share the Monday prophetic word. I've got a word that I know will bless you and take you to a greater glory. So without any further delay, let us begin by welcoming the Holy Spirit and then I'll share this word with you and the scriptures that the Lord has given me. Precious Holy Spirit of God, we welcome you. Come Lord Holy Spirit and take over control and help us to pray. Help us to press in. Help us to receive from the Father today. I ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. My dear friend, as I was seeking the Lord, this is the word that he has given me to share with you. The time of the past is over. Let go of those things that hold you back. Seek God's grace and mercy and push on forward to his great grace and mercy and plan for your life. The best is yet to come. God is not done with you. Right now receive new strength and hope for your life. God is doing something in this season and he won't forget you. Now as I received this, the Lord led me to certain scriptures and I trust, know and believe they will bless you. The first one is from the book of Acts chapter 1 verse 8. It says, But you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes on you, and you will be my witness in Jerusalem, in all Judea, and Samaria and to the ends of the earth. My dear friend, I truly believe in this season God wants to empower you. He wants to give you grace to go forward and achieve great things. What matters is are you willing to go forward? And if you are willing, God is willing to do what needs to be done. Are you willing to receive? Are you willing to press on? Are you willing to walk where God tells you to walk? Are you willing to go where God tells you to go? Because as you listen to Him, He will give you grace and power to accomplish the mission. The next scripture that the Lord led me to is from the book of Joel chapter 2 verse 28. And this scripture is so encouraging because it speaks of the latter rain. The anointing and the grace that we receive in Christ to do great things. It says, and afterward, I will pour out my spirit on all people. Your sons and your daughters will prophesy. Your old men will dream dreams. Your young men will see visions. Ever since Christ accomplished the mission, we've seen this happen. And in all callings, in all purpose and destiny, God wants to take you to greater glories. We need to understand and receive this prophecy of us. We need to understand and receive the scripture and the promise that it contains. It says, and afterward, I will pour out my spirit on all people. Your sons and your daughters will prophesy. Your old men will dream dreams. Your young men will see visions. Now the last one is the book of Jeremiah chapter 29 verse 11. And I'm reading this again to you to remind you that God has good plans for you. It says, For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. He doesn't just say it, he declares it. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you hope and a future. My dear friend, God has good plans for you. Plans that include your well-being. Plans that include you going forward and walking in the fullness of his calling 
his purpose, his destiny for your life. The question is, are you willing? Are you willing to let go of the past and move on to the future and what God wants to do? God has great plans for you, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you a future and a hope. Receive it today in the name of Jesus. Receive what God wants to do. Open up your heart and begin to dream again. Begin to look forward to the future. Wherever you've been hurt, wherever the devil has caused you to lose touch with that dream that God gave you, begin to dream again. Begin to look forward to the future with anticipation and hope, knowing that God has good plans for you. God has a good future for you. Your life is safe in God's hands and it shall be well with you. In saying that, let us go into a time of prayer. Wherever you are, begin to praise Him and thank Him just for a few moments and then we'll go into a time of prayer and I'll pray for you as the Holy Spirit leads me. Father, we praise You and we thank You. Thank You for Your goodness and Your mercy towards our lives. Thank You that You don't leave us helpless. Your grace is truly sufficient for us. In this season, we open up our hearts and we choose to trust in you. We choose to hope in you. We choose to believe you. You are our God and you speak and you live. We lift up your name. Your alone are holy. Your alone are worthy. Jesus Christ of Nazareth is Lord. Your Son, our Lord and Savior. And we believe. We choose to believe. We believe that Jesus Christ is Lord and that you have good plans for us, plans to prosper us, plans to give us a future and a hope. We thank you for all the times that we get to spend with our family and our friends, and we thank you that it is not over until you say it's over. And you are such a good God, you are such a gracious God. And right now we just tune in and we receive what you have for us. We surrender ourselves to you. We surrender ourselves to receive from you. Be glorified in my life and in my dear friend's life who's watching this video. You are the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end, the first and the last. The one who was, the one who is, and the one who is to come. And we give you praise. In Jesus' name, Amen and Amen. My dear friend, now as we begin to pray, I encourage you, comment and agree and connect in faith. Father, I pray for my dear friend. I pray that you will help my dear friend in this season to get over the past. All the hurt, all the pain and all the issues that have happened in the past. That have held back my dear friend for so long. I pray that you will help my dear friend to let go of those things so that they can walk into the new things that you have for them. Give my dear friend the grace to seek you and to push on forward into your great plan for their life. Do great and mighty things, even in the future. And I pray that the scripture contained in the book of Jeremiah chapter 29 verse 11 will come to pass in my dear friend's life. That my dear friend will taste and see of the good plans you have for them. The good plans you have for my dear friend who's tuned in, my dear friend, your dear son, my dear friend, your dear daughter. And bless my dear friend mightily, going out and coming in. By your grace and by your mercy, do something new in the season. I ask this in Jesus' name. Amen and Amen. God bless you, my dear friend, and God keep you. May the grace of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you even this week. And may God open doors and begin even from today doing something new, something amazing. May He give you that excitement once again. And may you go forward and enjoy the good things that God has for you. God bless you and God keep you. Until next time, shalom and goodbye. Thank you for watching. If you were blessed by this video and you would like to support us to keep making content like this, you can do so via PayPal or Patreon. The links are provided in the description. God bless you and goodbye.